bless the name of Jesus. My YouTube family and friends, tonight I'm here. I'm here at Minister G. Breeze. I'm not here of life of G. Breeze tonight, but I'm here at Minister G. Breeze to share the word of God to you and to let you know that my God is coming back and to let you know that I love you from my heart and that the reason why I'm sharing this word tonight is like share subscribe remember listen to the word of God because it is true and God will not lie concerning his promise God bless you in Jesus name greetings my wonderful YouTube family tonight I'm here not just to say thank you Lord for another year but I'm here to say the scripture said little children sin not but if you sin you have an advocate with the Father which is in heaven and now is not the time for you to sin now is not the time for you to run now is not the time to run joke because you can see in the time what we are living in now that the coming of the Lord is near we can see that the Lord will soon put in the appearance there is no time for us to joke there is no time for us to run joke there is no time for us to, to giggle and joking all about and said I hear that the Lord coming so many years and yet he's still not here some people feel like is not coming but he said in his word before one of his word pass heaven and earth shall pass and we know that Lord will not lie because he said in John he said I John saw the holy city that new Jerusalem coming coming down from heaven prepare as a bride a dawn for a husband and John saw it in Revelation. He blessed the name of Jesus. Yes, he did. He did so. And we know that the Lord is coming. We see so many signs. We see so many things right now to prove to us that the coming of the Lord is near. To prove to us that he will not lie concerning his promise. If to prove to us, he said, he's coming back again. And he will not lie. You know, he said, he went away, but not to stay. He's coming back again. And a songwriter, go ahead and put it into a song. And said, he's coming back again. Is coming back again. He went away not to stay, but he's coming back again. Soon and very soon, we shall see the king. Soon and very soon, yes, we shall see him. Everyone shall see him. No matter what skin tone you have. No matter if you're a Chinese, you're a black man, you're a white man, whatever man you might be, or a woman we shall see him because he's coming back and when he's coming he's coming that everyone can see him he's not coming and hide like a thief a thief come but when they come they hide and they come to kill to steal and to destroy but the lord shall come that everyone shall be holy because he was crucified the cross for us he didn't have to do it but he bear the pain and he did it for us he bear the pain and he took the nail to his feet the nail to his hand the spears to his side the thorn on his head 
and he bear it for us. And he didn't. Said, I'm not doing it. When the Lord asked, he boldly said, I will. And he died for us. And we know that he's coming back again. We see so many signs right now to prove that he is coming. And there's no time for us to joke it out. There's no time for us to say he's not coming. As I repeat myself, it's no time for us to joke it out. He said in the word of God, in Joel, he said, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm in that holy mountain. Let the inhabitant of the earth chamber. And I'm blowing the trumpet right now that everyone, every woman, every boy, every girl shall hear my voice. Art not their heart. Because whatsoever I'm saying, I'm not saying it by myself. It was from the book of life, and that is the Bible. So many things happening over the whole world right now that we can see and we can prove that this coming is near. My friends, I love you all. I love you all from my heart. And I'm saying to you right now, those who will watch this video, those who will hear my voice in this video, those who someone will tell, when it come to God, not to say that I am perfect, no one is perfect, but when it come to God business, I don't joke about it. I take my Lord seriously. I take him seriously. Because he done so many things for me. And when I need something and I pray, he give it unto me. When I'm sick, and I pray he heal me. And I can prove that to you. And I can attest to that. That my God is a healer. My God is a deliverer. And my Lord will not lie. What he say, he will do it. What he say, he mean it. So I'm saying to you. Please. We live from a child, a lot of people don't make it to see 2022. And you live to see 2022. If you never go to a church in your life, please, I'm asking you to go to a church and give God your life. I'm asking you, please, if it's your prayer, even they will walk, go to the church and sit and listen, you make a step. And when you make a step, the Lord will make the other. When you see your heart and your desire, you will work on it. Please, don't joke about this. The Lord is coming, and it's coming very soon. The Lord is coming again. He come as a babe first. And they crucify him. And he's coming back again. So I'm saying to you, each and every one who hear my voice or see my video, Run for your life. 
because it's not time for us to lose our life. And if we lose our life in sin, there is no repentance. The Bible said there is no repentance in the grave. If you go to the grave as a sinner, you cannot repent again. So do it now. Do it now before it's too late. Do it now. I'm begging you. Please give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Someone might say, I can't just go and do it. Make a step. And after you made a step, Lord, and do the other. Because when you see the part, the, 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 when you see your heart and the goodness of your heart, and you see that you want to serve him, he will help you to do it. Go to church. Read the Bible. Remember, if you've done something in your life and you know that it, is, it was wrong doing it, God can still forgive you. Go down on your knees and say, Lord, I have done this. And I'm asking you, please forgive me. Lord, I tell a lie and my neighbor and let police arrest him. Lord, I steal John Tom goat. Lord, I have commit fornication. Lord, I have commit adultery. Lord, I do so many things that is wrong. Lord, I kill somebody. Lord still can forgive you. If you just go to him and tell him everything. He will forgive you. He's not like man. He's not like me and you. Maybe you won't forgive that person. But the Lord will forgive you.